Gary, this is lesson number 28, and it's movement 29, which is single whip. Once again, uh, we've already covered single whip, and this is the last movement for this second section of the Chan Man Ching form. Again, I'm facing 12 o'clock. Behind me is 6 o'clock. To my right is 3, and to my left is 9 o'clock. Uh, when we finished last lesson, we finished off with grasp sparrow's tail, and we were facing six o'clock, right? We just completed everything and we had just done our push. So I'm facing six o'clock, I just completed push, and now we're going to do single whip. So I'm gonna shift back, my right toes come up, my arms are extended out, and I don't have to have, you don't have to have your arms completely extended out, right? There should be a bend to your elbows here. I'm gonna pivot on this right heel, so I'm pigeon toed. I'm gonna to go a little bit more to get a good back stretch, Make a ball, your top hand is gonna be a single whip hand. Now, I'm going to rotate my waist, my arms are going to move. So now I'm facing where my left toes are pointed. I call this the single whip or the single whip spring. My right arm is gonna come out. I'm gonna bring my left hand up so it's at eye level. With your left foot, you should raise your left heel, pivot on the left toes. This distance between this hand and my body is not going to change here. With your left foot, step out towards 12 o'clock, shift slightly so you can raise your back toes, pivot, 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 and then you're just gonna turn this left hand over. So, this is single whip. Your front foot should be facing 12 o'clock, your back foot should be at a 45 degree angle, your back foot should be behind your left foot, and that there should be a good distance here so you're grounded. Your knees should be bent. This arm should be straight, and it should be facing towards the center line of your body. This right hand should be right behind your right thigh. Okay, so it shouldn't be out here. It shouldn't be back here. It should be straight behind your right thigh. And that is single whip. And that is the end of this second section. So once again, we're facing 12 o'clock, or we're, rather we're facing six o'clock. We're gonna do single whip, shift back, right toes up, arms out, pivot on that right heel, good back stretch, uh, make a ball, top hand is gonna be a single whip hand, turn your weight so now your body is facing where your left toes are pointed. Then I call this the single whip spring. This arm comes out, this hand comes up, so you're, on, you're looking at your left palm. Raise your left heel, pivot on the left toes, half circle with this left foot. You're going to pivot on that back heel. Just turn this left hand over, and you're facing your opponent, which is at 12 o'clock. And that is single whip, and that is the end of the second section of the Chen Ching form.